guys, Mama Drea here. Welcome for another fantastic episode of Bacon with Mama Drea. Today I am bringing you another sourdough treat. So what are we gonna make today? We are going to be making sourdough bagels. What are you gonna need? You're gonna need a mixing bowl on top of a scale because measurements are very important, our weights are very important. So you need a big mixing bowl, Preferably if you have a kitchen mixer, the one that goes onto your kitchen mixer because we're gonna use it to knead the dough later. If not, just a big bowl and you will be kneading by hand. So a big bowl. You are going to, let's start with our starter. You are going to need some of your starter, some of your sourdough starter. It is 150 grams of our sourdough starter. You are going to need 250 grams of your tepid water. And then we are gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of our syrup, our yeshne hosladu, our maple, not maple, I'm sorry, our malt syrup. We're gonna add that teaspoon into the water before we mix it. You are going to need nine grams of salt and you are going to need 24 grams of granulated sugar. I prefer to use brown sugar. If you wanna use white, you can. And then the last thing you are going to need is some bread flour, and you are going to need 500 grams of your bread flour. Again, I like to use caputo. I find it's one of the best ones, but it is totally up to you what you wanna use. So let's get started with our starter. My scale is already set to zero. My bowl is on it. Ooh, that is very soury. We are gonna be putting 150 grams of our starter in here. So exactly to 150 quite a lot of starter, 120, 130, 147, we're so close, 148, oh, now I went a little over, 154, it's all right, just scoop it back out and get it at exactly 150, and then we're going to add in our maple, our, I did it again, not our maple syrup, um, our malt syrup, to our water, which I made sure was the correct temperature. In between 38 and 40 degrees Celsius, you want your water. Go ahead and take a teaspoon of your malt extract and mix it in with our water. There we go. Make sure you mix that, get all those chunkies out. And we are gonna mix in our water and our sugar. We're gonna whisk that. And then once it's all whisked together, we're gonna add our 500 grams of our flour and we're going to add our nine grams of our salt. So get all the chunky chunks out. There we go. I love the color that that makes the water. Pour that in there. Going to add my sugar, 24 grams of sugar. And we're going to take our whisk and we're gonna go ahead and whisk. You can just leave it on the scale for now while you're whisking it. It is absolutely fine because we still need to add our 500 grams of flour. And if you notice today, I'm wearing my very special Milo apron that was a present for a friend. Thank you, I love it. Okay, so 500 grams of our flour. So my scale right now is at 428 grams. I'm gonna make it up to 928. I think I have just exact amount of flour in here. Let's see, 9, 10, 9, 26, 9, 28, perfect. And then I'm going to take my nine grams of salt, dump that in there. Now, I'm gonna take it off my scale. I am going to very lightly mix this. I'm gonna get myself a big spoon here. Or you can even use a spatula, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna lightly mix this together to form sort of the beginning of a sticky dough. And then I'm gonna stick it onto my robot and I'm gonna mix it or knead it with my dough hook on there. I'm going to knead it for about five to six minutes. It's not too long, guys. This is going to be a very, very stiff dough. So don't worry if you are kneading it by hand and it is super stiff, that is okay. That is the way it's supposed to be. So. I formed kind of a basic dough just with my spoon. Get all that off of there. All right. And we are going to put it onto our kitchen robot. Again, if you don't have one, you're gonna knead it by hand lightly for about five to six minutes. If you are using your robot, you're gonna put it on the lowest setting that you have. Hook it in there, like so. 
not, and you're gonna knead it for five to six minutes, no more than that. So, minimum setting, and there we go. I'll see you guys back in a few minutes once it's done. Okay guys, so this makes for six minutes. Now, first step, we're gonna have to leave it just for about 45 minutes to an hour with not touching it too much. So, I'm gonna scoop it off my hook. Again, bagel dough is very, very stiff dough, so you'll notice it's not really very um, elastic -y or anything. It just kind of sticks. Don't stress about it, guys. That is how it is supposed to be. So clean off your hook as best you can. Get all that extra dough off and don't touch your dough. Just leave it in there. We're going to cover it with a damp towel, not a wet towel, not dripping, a damp towel. So I'm gonna take it off my bowl. I've got my damp towel ready and we're just gonna leave this now for 45 minutes to an hour. Then we're gonna take it out, we're gonna make a smooth ball from it. We're gonna put a little bit of oil inside of our bowl, we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna let it sit for eight to 10 hours. It is a long process, guys. All sourdough is a long process. We actually aren't even gonna make these bagels until tomorrow. So, first rise is 45 minutes to an hour, just with a damp towel, like so. I'll leave it like this. I'll check it back in an hour. We'll make a ball from it, then we'll cover it, and we're gonna let it sit for eight to 10 hours before we pop it in the fridge overnight, and tomorrow we'll come back and make our bagels, boil them, and bake them. So, see you guys in like an hour. Okay, so, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna take off my damp towel. I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm going to scoop out my dough. And again, remember, this is very stiff dough. Kind of just stick it off, unstick it from the sides. Get all this excess lovely dough here. We don't want to waste anything. Okay, I'm just going to make it into a ball. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of move it around till you get a nice little ball. Just place it on your damp towel for a second. You are going to take a little bit of olive oil. I just kind of put it on my fingers like so and spread it around because we don't want our dough to stick to the bowl as it rises. Just gonna spread it around like this. Again, you don't want too much oil, just enough to coat it. We are gonna take our lovely ball, put it into our bowl, and you are going to cover it and let it sit for eight to 10 hours. Now, damp towel as well, I also like to put a layer of foil on it just so that it doesn't get dry on the top. So I'll take some foil. Cover it up, and you want to keep this in a spot that's relatively warm, not too cold, so not by the window where it's going to be breezy. Cover it. Take my damp towel, and we are just going to store it for eight to 10 hours, and then we're going to put it in the fridge overnight. You will notice the dough will rise. It'll get nice and big. You're going to pop it into your fridge overnight. Then in the morning, we're going to take it out. And we're going to get ready to boil and bake our bagels. So see you guys later. All right, guys, my dough has sat overnight. Look at how much this has risen. It is beautiful. I put it in the fridge last night after it had risen to about this amount. So it was about eight to 10 hours, popped it in the fridge. And now I have had this out for about an hour because whenever we start working with our dough, we don't want it to be too cold. We always prefer it to be about room temperature. So what are you gonna need now? You're gonna need some sort of a board with just a lightly coat of flour on it. You're gonna need to get ready for after. We are gonna need one pot that we're gonna boil some water with a little bit of sugar in it, with a teaspoon of sugar in there. I think it's a teaspoon or two teaspoons, I'll have to double check. Then you are going to need a baking tray lined with either your parchment paper or a silicone mat. If you are using just parchment paper, I would recommend coating it with a little bit of oil just so that these don't stick. And we are going to be preheating our oven to 220 degrees Celsius. But first we have to make our bagels. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take our dough, we're gonna scoop it out. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that gluten in there. That is amazing. I love sourdough and the way it forms. So we are gonna pull out our lovely dough here and we are going to divide it into eight equal pieces of about 115 grams. So I have got my scale ready. We are gonna go ahead and just make, oh, look at this dough, oh my God. It smells amazing, guys. So I'm gonna turn on my scale. Got my handy dough chopper, which I love as well. 
and we are gonna see about 115 grams each. That was pretty close. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes my bagels are a bit bigger. Sometimes they are a bit smaller. This one needs a bit more. So you're gonna do this for all pieces. You're gonna get about eight pieces of your dough. So cut them up to 115 grams, something around there, and then we will see you in a minute. Okay, I've got my eight pieces. Now what am I gonna do? I'm going to very gently form them into a ball and then we are gonna let them sit for 15 minutes to let that gluten relax a little bit before we go ahead and shape our bagels. So you're gonna let this rest for 15 minutes, just lightly form little dough balls. While that is resting, I'm gonna go ahead and get my water boiling. I'm gonna put in my sugar and I'm going to get my oven preheated to 220 degrees. Now, you are also going to want to get set up some little plates or bowls with some of your preferred toppings that you are going to want for your bagels. That's where the fun part co comes in, guys. There's so many different things you can top with your bagels. I like to do poppy seeds. I like to do all sorts of different types of seeds. Sometimes I do an Italian bagel with some Italian seasoning and Parmesan. Sometimes I do a cheddar bagel. There is so much that you can do, guys, with these bagels. That really is the fun part of the decorating. So, whoop! Don't drop your dough balls. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure that that gluten has time to relax. Make sure I've got a little bit of flour under each of these so we don't get any stickage. And while that is relaxing, I am going to go ahead and get my water boiling, boiling and I'm gonna get my oven preheated. So we'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. All right, guys, so my gluten has relaxed for a few minutes, but we're not ready to start boiling yet. Now we need to make our shape of our bagels. There are a few different techniques. For me, the best technique that I find works is literally just sticking my thumb in there, making a hole and whipping it around. You can also use like the end of a wooden spoon if you wanna make the hole a little bit bigger. It's totally up to you. This is where you can get creative. So I take it, I put my thumb and I make sure I feel it go all the way through. And then I just kind of spin it. I do the same for the next one. You're gonna do that for all eight of them. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm gonna cover it with a damp towel. I'm gonna let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes. And while that is sitting and resting, I'm going ahead and I'm starting to get ready my toppings for my bagels. I've got my pot of water getting ready to boil and my oven is preheated. It is one tablespoon of sugar, sorry, not one teaspoon. We are gonna add, once your water starts boiling, one tablespoon of sugar in there. So, see you guys again in 10 minutes. Okay, my water is boiling. Boiling. My bagels have rested for another 15 minutes. So I'm gonna take the top off. I am going to use a slotted spoon. We are gonna put our bagels in here. Now, we want them to float and we're gonna boil them for about 30 seconds on each side. So I suggest you get a timer ready and you're gonna flip them and you're gonna boil them 30 seconds on the other side. So. We're floating, that's good, and we'll flip in a minute. Okay, that's it. We're gonna pull it out with our slotted spoon, put it on a cooling rack for a couple minutes before we decorate it with our toppings. All right, guys. My bagels have been boiled for 30 seconds on each side. The longer that you boil them, the thicker the crust that you're gonna get. I wouldn't recommend going over like a minute, maximum a minute and a half, otherwise you're gonna have really thick, hard crust. I like about 30 seconds. So, they're still warm. I've got my toppings. I like to use a wide variety. I've got some blue poppy seeds. I've got some mixed um, sesame seeds, some black and some white ones. I've got some garlic powder and some onion powder. I've got some cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese, and I've got some Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna start by making a few Italian ones. I like to do some Italian seasoning with a little bit of that 
uh, scamorza cheese, which is that dried mozzarella. So we'll do two Italian one. And this is my favorite part, guys, is the decorating of it. It's a little bit of mozzarella cheese on there. Now the bagels themselves are vegan. It is up to you if you want to add uh, vegan cheese to it to keep it all vegan. You don't even have to add any cheese. That's totally up to you. Uh, next, I'm gonna do sort of like an everything bagel. So we'll start with some poppy seeds. I'll do two everything bagels. Some poppy seeds, some of our sesame seeds. Let's see. Now you wanna decorate these while they're still a bit warm so everything will stick. Some of our garlic powder. Some of our onion powder. Perfect. Now I'm gonna do one, let's see. This is my onion. I'm gonna do some onion and some cheddar cheese. Now the cheddar I find is a bit sticky, so you gotta kinda help it spread its way around. There we go. Lovely. Uh, let's see, we have two left, so I think I'll do another everything bagel and maybe one more Italian bagel. Lovely. Now it is totally up to you guys what you want to put on your bagels. This is where you can get creative. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven. My oven is preheated to 220 degrees. I'm gonna pop it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes until they get golden brown and then we're all set. So we'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay guys, my bagels are done. Let's take them out of the oven. They look really good. Oh, look at these. They look amazing. I'm gonna let them cool. Then we are going to cut into one and we are gonna see how they taste. Oh, look at these guys, these are amazing. Go ahead and pop them on a cooling rack and then you can cut them open once they cool. You can freeze them um, for as long as you want. They freeze fantastically. If you aren't going to freeze them, I would eat them in at least the first, whoops, at least the first two days. Otherwise, they're gonna get a little stale. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. We'll go ahead and try one. <laughs> Okay guys, it's cooled a bit. I am so excited. I can't wait to try it. Look at the inside of that. It is amazing. It is airy, but the outside is crusty. I've got some cream cheese here with a little bit of basil in it. I thought I would try it with my Italian bagel because I thought it would go very nicely. So here it is. Let's give it a try. Dobro kluj. <laughs> 